This is Sinatra's first ever tamale. Okay, I don't know what to do with this. It feels interesting to be honest. Do I eat this or do I unwrap this too? It's very messy. Is this good? Oh no, it's sweet. That's all I know. It's sweet and it tastes like it's like cornbread but sweeter. Heck yeah. I expected like meat and like filling inside, you know? Heck yeah. I just feel good. Thumbs up for tamales. First yeah. ever tamale. <laughs> I'm gonna start off this interview with showing you a quick picture from your Twitter. You said Gucci gang, the Gucci shirt. The sometimes Gucci when polo. I yeah, sometimes when I see you on the uh, around the arena, I see you wearing Gucci sneakers. Yeah. What's all up the time. with the What's up with the Gucci? Um, I don't know. I, I was a hype beast to begin with, you know, like uh, Yeezys, all that stuff, like Supreme type stuff. But then um, I started getting into designer, and Gucci was the first one I looked at. Gucci and Louis Vuitton, because that's the one like everyone knows. And the Ace sneakers just stood out to me because like the snake and it, I don't know, they're just cool. But I feel like ever everyone's like that. They start off a hype beast like with like Yeezys type stuff, and then after like five months, they're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get designer. What what made you go towards those brands specifically, LV and Gucci? Um, because literally everyone knows what those brands are. Like if you go to someone and say like some like we like really high designer brand that no one knows about, like. Only the like rich people would know about it, you know? So you got to go for the ones that everyone knows about. So is it about flexing? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, and great. style, it just looks good too. Fair. Do you take inspiration from any like other pop culture icons when it comes to like high fashion? Uh... Aww. <laughs> Lil Pump. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just wanted to say that for the video. It was funny. Who are some of your other favorites in terms of hip-hop artists? My favorites? Uh, right now I like Lil Mosey. I like Lil Mosey a lot. He's 15 and he actually went to the, the rival high school of mine. I used to go to Shorewood High School and he went to Shorecrest High School and he's 15 right now and he's made it basically. So Lil Mosey, Lil Pump, uh, 21 Savage, Lil Skies. He's good. Um, yeah, those four are probably, or Lil Uzi Vert too. They're all really good, I think. So a lot of the newer generation guys, everybody with the Lil yeah. in front of their name. Yeah. <laughs> you know, everybody's trying to like, like 10 years ago, everybody was trying to produce EDM. Yeah, now yeah, everybody's yeah. trying to yeah, be the next Cardi B. Rapper, yeah. Have you ever gotten into that? No, never. I'm garbage at music in general. Oh, I, I used to be in band. I'm like good at like instrument type stuff, but not talking type music. What did you play? Clarinet. <laughs> you don't think you can go hard on a beat with a clarinet? <laughs> no. I'm about to be Squidward out here or some shit. What the fuck? On your stream, you play a variety of games, not just Overwatch. Uh, Fortnite, one of the most recent appearances on yeah. your stream. Yeah. You think Fortnite's taking over the world? Ooh, that's hard. Um, Fortnite definitely, definitely, like, is the top top game of like by like more than 2x margin because it gets to like I, they did it so perfect to where it like hits all the normal like what you would say normies you know like the high school like party people you know and like everyone in high school is playing it everyone in college is playing it rappers are playing it and the rappers are promoting it too so it's like they just didn't say so it's gonna be like crazy that game i'm sure it'll just only grow because i watched ninja I, and i when I first watched him and he had like 150k viewers for the first time, I thought that was like gonna be the only time he had 150k viewers, but he gets it literally every day. I watch him every day and he has 150k viewers, so it's just crazy. I see you playing CSGO sometimes too, so what feels better? One, cl one clipping somebody as Tracer yeah. or one tapping with an AK? I think it's one tapping, because you know you, you come around a corner, boom, you just one tap, it feels so good. I don't know. One clips do feel good too, but they don't feel as good, you know? Because one tapping is just like, I just shot on that guy. <laughs> do you ever watch Pro CS? Yeah, I, I, I only watch um, teams or yeah teams that Stewie is on. Because Stewie was my favorite player. Like, he was my idol when I was playing CSGO. So I watch every Cloud9 match back then, and now I watch every SK match, basically. Not every, but most. Yeah, so what do you feel about that move from Stewie going from C9 to SK, especially considering that they just came off their major win like yeah. a month and a half, two months ago, and now all of a sudden it's like first non-Brazilian to play on SK ever. Yeah. 
Uh, I think XK was doing pretty poorly, if I recall, so they needed a change, and I think Cloud9 was doing like pretty poorly too at the time, because usually teams that just won a major usually just do poorly after. So they were both doing poorly, and they both needed changes, I guess, so I think SK just wanted Stewie, and then he was like, alright. So I think I think it's good for both the teams. Well, I don't know about Cloud9, but it's good for SK, I think. I think Stewie's good as fuck. I don't know. I'm just biased, though, because he's my favorite player. I used to push smokes every time just because of him. I would literally flash, flash through every smoke possible. This was simple. Just you tweeting. Taco Bell is so fucking good. <laughs> so we've all been at the point where it's 2 a.m. Um, <laughs> exactly. You may be That's... tired, hungry. Wait, when did I tweet it? <laughs> 6.18 p.m. actually. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I, I know, okay. I just got back from... Uh, Shopping. I, I just got this backpack actually. Show us. Yeah. Okay. I just got this backpack at the Louis V store at Rodeo. And then we're hungry, me, Sleepy, and uh, I'm not going to say the other guy's name, but me, Sleepy, we're hungry. So uh, we went to Taco Bell and I had the Cinnabon Delights or whatever, and they're so good. Like, it's actually crazy how good. That's probably the best food in the world. I'm not even kidding. And the Chalupa Supreme. Jesus Christ. So good. So I had to make that tweet. Got a pretty good relationship with hydration, right? You guys are homies. Yeah. Tell me about your friendship with him. Um, damn, I don't know how to start it to be honest. Um, how did it start? I think he was on um. Fuck. Okay. Well, I I think it was because we played CLG a lot. We were their scrim partners when I was on Selfless a lot. So I talked to him from there, I started talking to him, and then I started talking to, like, Zoms, X, Retsy, um, Unko, like, all those people, and then I made a Discord called the ELO Guardians, and we used to do some dumb shit, but, um, they're all in my Discord, so I talk to them, like, every day. We've talked for, like, since December, like, we talk every day, not just hydration, like, all of us, we talk together, so I'm really good friends with Zoms, really good friends with Unko, really good friends with X, Retsy, and hydration. Mo and all the other people in the Discord, but those are the people who mainly talk to in the Discord. Do you guys hang out a lot in person? No, only, only me, Unko, because Hydration lives really far from here, and Zoms lives in Florida, and x lives in... I don't know, but yeah, they're too far. <laughs> what do you and Unko do when you hang out? Uh, eat and talk about Overwatch. We, we go out to eat like every night, basically. What are your favorite spots to go to? Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, Mama Hong's. Oh, that's a good one. It's like a Vietnamese place, like pho type stuff. Um, B BJ's? Is that what it's called? Yeah, BJ's. Because they have like this pazuki, like cookie dessert thing. That's really fucking good. So, those places. You've been talking for months about wanting to play Sebi and yeah. like get revenge for yeah, the World yeah. Cup. There's a lot of shit around yeah, that time, yeah, you know, yeah, people yeah, like yeah. making montages. Oh, Sebi be killing Sinatra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that you're finally facing him next week, what's going to be the key to you securing your revenge? Um, just playing how I normally do, honestly. I don't have to like play anything different. Um, when, uh, I, I was very inexperienced back then. Um, when I was in the World Cup, I'd never played. I haven't played a Korean like before the World Cup happened. So and Koreans were like nasty, and I just came into the like World Cup really cocky, I guess, and I just like misplayed really hard because they punish everything that I did. So uh, I, now that I've been playing Koreans, scrimming Koreans all the time, and Overwatch League, I think I'll just need to play normally now, and I'm fine. You've said before that. Uh, in an AMA, you felt pretty shitty about being the only Overwatch League pro that had his p salary completely publicized. Yeah. Do you think that adds pressure to you that others don't uh, experience? And if so, yeah. how? Um, when I, like on the week leading up to my first match, my debut, um, I, I didn't feel that nervous, but uh, like tor towards the with like the days coming up to it I started to feel really nervous because it's like everyone's like is he worth 150k like 150 blah 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 it, like it, it got leaked due to like some dumb shit like honestly like people just being stupid but um yeah it really put a lot of pressure on me because I felt like I, I must perform no matter what like I 100% ha have to perform if I don't I'm letting everyone down like 100% so it sucked hard but 
it's fine now, I guess. How have you adjusted your mindset to kind of get that behind you or in the back of your mind? Um, don't read Twitch chat because they just spam 150k a little type shit. It's cancerous, but don't read Twitch chat, don't read Reddit. I haven't read Reddit in like a solid six months. Um, yeah, and just don't look at like negative Twitter comments and if they do, then just block them. Um, I, w I wanted to say this for a while. Uh, thank you to the fans, 100%, because if it weren't for you guys, honestly, esports wouldn't actually be a thing, to be honest. Like, literally, it'd be nothing. So thank you so much to the fans, honestly. And um, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Only Instagram. I don't care about the other social media platforms, but follow me on Instagram. It's Sinatra with two A's underscore OW. For more Overwatch interviews and analysis, subscribe to our channel. You can also find stats, discussions, and more on our website and mobile app at blitzesports.com.